Welcome to Module 3, Vision 4. And today we're going to be discussing the pain balance. The pain balance is pretty simple. When the pain balance either comes up when you're dousing using your pendulum and your list basically to see what's your priority, it basically means there's an energy imbalance and you basically want to look for your body points and emotions with it. Um, you can ask the person in front of you basically or if they're not in front of you and it's distant, you can just put it down. You know, sometimes people don't really know when they're in pain because you can get hurt tomorrow and you need to go to work, you've got kids, you've got responsibilities. So people don't acknowledge their physical pain even, as well as emotional pain. You know, we suppress pain. That's who we are this day and age with the fast-moving life that we all have. So when pain balance comes up, you can either ask the person in front of you and if it's distantly, like I said, just put in the information that you simply find. When they're in front of you, then you can ask them if they're in pain, they can either say to you clearly yes or no. Some they might say yes, some they might say no. Don't be afraid now when no comes up. All this means is they aren't aware of their pain and you know maybe they live with their pain every single day of their lives. They have to continue on with life, so they just put it aside. And you basically can scan the body by putting your hand above the body or your chart, and then you can go front, back, yes, no. You know, you can just ask that so it, it, may, it breaks down the body. All you do is break down the body into some proportions, front, back, left, right, middle, leg, from the legs down, from the neck down to, 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 to the hip, you know, and from the head to the throat. You're basically breaking down the body to find out where the pain is. You can ask these questions loud or mentally. I prefer mentally with my pendulum and I basically get a yes and no response. Once I get the yes and the response and I located the pain, I then either will, if the person is in front of me, express, I have located pain in your neck region. Or they'll be like, oh yes, I do have neck tension, you know, uh, and stuff like that. It comes and goes. And then once you find the pain in the neck, then afterwards you can go to find if there are organs, which are body points related to it. Sometimes the organs cannot even be anywhere near the neck. It can be anything from sinuses, it can be, um, it can be uh, um, lymphatics, anything like that. So basically, you can douse all your points. You can ask A, B, C to get, you know, a yes, no response. Or if it's neck pain, you can think, ah, the muscles are there and just tap on the area which you do. Um, the muscles are there and you can basically, you know, tap on the muscle point and basically tap that in. So, you know, use your discretion. You know, always like I say, and, and you know, just work with it, let it flow. So, pain, body point, next part is to decide whether there's an emotion involved. Now, when it comes to an emotion and you ask with your pendulum, yes, no, you'll get a yes or no response. If there's a no response, you just continue on. We get a yes response. This is because when we go through situations in life um, that are stressful, so say for instance, this person may be was working very hard, long hours, and now they're retrenched. And now, um, basically, they're having this neck pain. What that means is they're putting the loss into their neck. Literally, they're putting the emotion within them. And that's what we do. You know, you can feel the tension. There's a heavy burden on their shoulders. There literally is one. So what you do, and also you can, you can, you can, you can now basically see if it's loss. Is it fear of letting go? You can... You know, maybe an emotion might even just pop into your mind. Allow that intuition to grow and flow. That's the whole process. Allow it to grow and flow. Um, you can use a chart. You can feel what you think. Feel what you not think you're feeling to feel what comes through from above. And then yes, it can come into your thoughts because our thoughts are also connected to spirit. And then once you get that information, you also then just you know say the emotion and tap that into the cloud. I will show you how to do this using a chart, but you can do this on a physical person as well. And that's your pain balance. Because like I was saying, the emotion comes from life. So anything that is stressful, grieving, they might have a heavy chest, um, um, financial root, sometimes they carry their finance in their heart, they carry their finance in their you know, brain points. Anything is possible basically. So when anything is possible, all possibilities are limitless. And 
it's just for you to feel and flow to feel what comes through what do you feel when you're working with this person of the pain lots of us store emotional pain and that's why sometimes people don't even recognize it so let me first say no to you when they're in person don't get you know mm, they're not in pain remember they're coming to you because they suppress feelings they suppress pain and they're here to basically make they're here for you to kind of bring into their awareness what it is that needs releasing and basically alignment and energy balance and that's all you're doing you're bringing them back into alignment and you're facilitating meaning you're not connecting to the personality and the person in front of you you're connecting to their higher self so what is good for their higher self will come through you know it's not it's not a, even though they might feel something else it's about their higher self and what's coming through and even though they're feeling something else you can explain that to them that these are things sometimes that we're unaware of how many times are we in a stressful situation and we can feel it when someone gives you bad news or they went and did something behind your back or whatever the case may be you feel that energy of it and then we just think oh gosh you know you feel the tension of it and you didn't suppress the feeling as well as the pain within you and that's how it basically develops into physical pain and you know allow them to kind of discover it with you you must remember you are basically taking them on a journey of self-discovery you know it's kind of like they're feeling a bit lost and you there just to facilitate the energy to give them some clues and signs of which way next which way to assist which way for me to to assist me in moving forward and that's obviously letting go of all the pain that we have within us all the emotional patterns all the emotional blockages all the physical blockages all the energetic blockages so after you locate the emotion obviously the next point of that would then be the chakras you would see me do that when i do a physical session and you know heart chakra and, and work with it or throat chakra whichever comes up for the neck uh, as an example and you just balance for that just balance you know and you know keep it simple keep it um um uplifting and encouraging for the person in front of you you know just deliver the message never feel you know you never feel like oh my gosh whenever someone says no i'm not experiencing that always remember you're working with their higher self and people suppress things so you know i find this a lot with the pain balance as well um that sometimes people aren't sure of their pain physically <laughs> really and um when you do do it it you know then it, it, it gives them an aha moment it comes up a lot more in in-person sessions and it's a lot easier also to do and um, it's so easy to tap on the, 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 the area of pain and stuff like that. I mean, I've worked with the pain balance and I found it very healing for myself as well as other uh, people that have also worked on, you know, just to quickly locate the pain. Sometimes I don't even, I mean, when it comes to myself, I don't even get so deep into the emotion, the body points. I just find the area of pain, I tap it into my crown, and then I just work with the chakras that come up, and I energetically do it without getting too much into the story. That's my breakdown of it when I need a quick fix, and I feel like I'm on pain, and maybe I'm you know, on a holiday, and I can't get to something quickly, you know, like a, a chemist or something for the pain that I'm in. I have done it. So have fun with it. Experience it. Um, try different ways with it remember this is all about your intuition so let it flow let it guide you let it um, you know basically be your roadmap to the healer that you are so don't never ever feel like oh no it has to be this way use your intuition and discretion and let it flow thank you for watching video 4